Let's head back to Glendale, Arizona and the Cool FM Car Show. Walking around the car show, there are a lot of cars, there's a lot of old cars. There is the oldest car in the show, a 1917 Ford owned by Tom Besky. Tom, what do you have here? Well, this is a 1917 Model T Speedster race car, and it is the oldest registered car in Arizona. And it took about five years to do the restoration. It was done in Wisconsin, and it went through the whole, uh, engineer did the restoration, and it was the best one he ever did. He did about seven of them. And then now he's getting older, and he sold it to me, and I have it now for best five years. I brought it in from Wisconsin, and I've had it here. It's a fun car to have meet friends and influence people. Was it actually used as a race car at some time? Yes, I have a documentation that it, they did race them. And then, well, it, it did need roads. <laughs> so we don't freeway or not, just go. Back in 1917, when somebody decided to make a race car, or 1918, 1920, whatever, what did they do to make this go faster than a stock Model T? Well, this one is all stock. That's the way. You can modify things. They shaved the heads. And this one, it, uh, what they did is they had cast iron uh, cylinders or pistons. Now it's better. It's get the aluminum. So it doesn't wear out. It's designed to last a long time. And it's interesting because it has three types of pedals, and it's all belt-driven. And the accelerators is on the right side. Uh, uh, the advance is on the left. The, uh, the get into high gear, you got got emergency brakes here, and then the high gear goes second that way. It's really interesting. And they go in reverse is the center pedal. You put it, goes reverse, and the other pedal, you press it, it goes forward. We were covering a show in California, and I closed out the show driving a 1914 Ford. Almost got killed. Could oh. not figure out how to stop the thing and found myself going out into traffic that was going the opposite direction of me. Well, it took about a week to learn how to drive it, and it took about another five minutes to learn how to race it. So I used to race cars and it's fun, but it's, you, people like it and they sort of forget and they can aim for you. And you look at it and you're in danger, so. That's a four cylinder motor. How many uh, horsepower and cubic inches does that develop? I would say about 40 and it's, uh, well, I don't know exactly. It's just, it works. It starts all the time and it, it's got a, the only instrument they had in those days was an amp gauge. They had an optional a speedometer, but it never worked. So that's all you have. And it's got, uh, this is modified to make it start. It didn't have a starter, it was just this. Is this, the performance on this, substantial enough that you can keep up with traffic on, on residential streets, or can you get out on the highway on this? Well, yeah, well, it's set up as stock. You can go 45 miles an hour. So you can go to speed limit. So everybody's, uh, are they uh, giving you the thumbs up or, or a different finger up? Well, no, they all waved you. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a attention get. It's a parade car, and it's a, like people like it. They talk to you. You know, it's a pretty car, pretty pretty. Her name is Elizabeth. It's Tin Lizzie. Okay. Well, Tom, this is a very interesting car, uh, one we don't see very often, and thank you very much for bringing it out to the show today and being on the Vintage Vehicle Show. Well, good. God.